Hello, this is Sue from the Mountain Canary Company. Today we're going to show you how we set up our saddles for packing and also for riding. And here's Ed to tell you how we do it. Go ahead. Hi folks, um, thank you for coming by and visiting it again. We really appreciate it and uh, give us an opportunity to share with you. Um, I want to show you a couple of things here. A riding saddle is a very, very useful tool for riding and packing in the backcountry. The difference, it really makes a difference in how you actually set the thing up. You can go through and just have a regular saddle, throw it on right away, do anything you want to do, it's up to you. But I've looked at it and used different, different, um, had different needs for uses, and I, I dealt with the correcting them, and I'll show you how we got around to doing that. First thing I want to recommend is um, always put, keep you, all of your uh, accoutrements together, your breast collar, it's hooked on the saddle. I keep my britching already hooked up. My girths are already hooked up on my saddle. Everything is here ready to go. I've had, the mis I've had the misfortune of showing up at the trailhead after I cleaned up everything and organized everything. At home, I adjusted saddles only to forget a girth. Yeah, it didn't work too good. Polly had a day off that day. Okay, let's go move right along here. Uh, first off, one of the key players in all of this is going to be a is going to be saddle strings, and this is a piece of saddle string. It comes in multiple thicknesses, uh, widths, I should say, not thicknesses. And uh, it's it's I carry I have a bunch of them around here, and I use them for all different things, attaching to the saddle where possibly there aren't attachment points. First thing I do when I get my saddle is I hook, I add some additional hardware. I add footman loops on the, on the forks of the saddle. These are to hold, ho hook my fork bags to. I have straps that come through and hook them, and then I have another strap that catches these D's down here on my saddle so that it doesn't flop and move around and move on you. The moving uh, uh, saddle bags are a complete pain in the neck. I also go to the back here and add two more to the back side, of which I add also add additional two saddle strings. These can be used really tandy. If you put your saddle strings down here, see okay, Sue? Mm -hmm. And if you put your saddle strings down here, you go to wrap up a jacket or something and hook them on there, it's too low. So I bring my stuff up and wrap it around here and I can tighten it in around here. So that's the, one of the first things we do is add that hardware. Next thing, a piece of hardware I add is a ring keeper. This ring keeper will I'll put into an inch, inch and a quarter stainless steel ring, and and that is to hook my lead rope to. Now, the lead rope, this ring will be attached to another ring, a probably inch and a half, two inch ring, which works best. Your two inch is probably best bet. I'll take a piece of whatever I have in the saddle strings and I'll put it on. Now this one is a wider saddle string as you noticed. This is supposed to be a breakaway. So if this stuff gets hooked up in any way, shape, or form off my saddle, this breaks. And you'll, on this case, if Sue can catch this, I've gone in and I've actually, because of its width, I've got, cut it about, uh, about uh, uh, a quarter of the way to, to halfway full, through. So that encourages it to break. It's sacrificial. Okay, moving along. Now you'll notice right off the bat there are several rings attached to this saddle. I like one inch rings because they're small. Kind of out of the way. But the thing about this is these are attachment points to hook things to your saddle that you don't carry on a day to day basis. I.e. a saw. And for hunters, a good place to hang the scabbards of their saddles, putting clips on or actually buckles through that can buckle through this and hang the units down underneath. There are, I have three, three rings and they're kept in place by a bleed knot. And uh, you sometimes, uh, if, like this saddle comes from uh, uh, Three Bells Mules and all of his strings are kept on, on um, his saddles with bleed knots. So I just take that bleed knot, open it up, put my ring in, close it back up again. I have three of them. I, 
I, I have a smart shortener back here that does nothing but carry the ring. <coughs> also, <coughs> um, the, uh, the, the, the rings now can, it gives you just a tremendous amount of places to put things. It uh, really helps you a lot. So if you'll bear with me just for a second, I'm going to swing this saddle completely around. Now, in, in the back here, I like on my saddles, I like to have my britchin hooked in the center, one point con connector. I don't like the two of them, it's just, it, especially when you're carrying saddlebags, kind of gets in the way. I prefer hooking it to one spot. I make all my own rigging, so that's no problem whatsoever. <clears throat> on this side, you'll notice also, I have my like three more, three, three rings. And, and also, um, a lot of times, your saddles will come with what they call a, a, a cinch keeper, which is a, ring, which is a piece of leather with a slot in it. I don't care for buckles on my, my girths. I prefer to have uh, rings. This one is a buckle with a tang on. And the uh, reason being is I have far more adjustment in it. And, uh, and I adjust from both, I can adjust from either side. But in this case, though, I don't have a ring keeper. So what I do is I took a piece of, of saddle string and just put a cut in it, slice in it, run it back through itself, render itself back through, and then put a slice in it. So it'll go over the top of the horn. This is, the old, this is an old-fashioned way of carrying girths, folks. Put a slice in it, wrap it around the rings, go right up over my horn, and drop it in. There it is. Simple, 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 simple. And um, let me think if I'm missing anything here. Um, no, I don't think so. So that's how we set our saddles up for being more utilitarian. And um, now, uh, this is how we do it. And you, if you could take some of these ideas and do them for yourself, if you got, if you have other needs, you can carry. Some guys carry long saws in here even. But if you take a saddle string and you sew your saddle string, so it's not so tie it around to a, we'll say your to your rifle scabbard. You take it, tie it to it. These strings are not rope. They don't tie in tight. They don't lay in tight. You'll see here, I'll flip it over to a scoring on. You see, it doesn't quite, it's not quite the same. And it's also because it, 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 you, you can go down the road and go, oh, where'd my rifle go? Or, oh, where'd my axe go? Which happened to me one time with a guy packing with me. Geez, Ed, I, my, my axe is gone. Where'd you lose it? I don't know. Well, we were about 10 miles past where he probably dropped it. We weren't going back for his axe. So, Having said all that, hopefully that gives you some ideas on how to get to, to adjust a few more things for your packs for your riding saddle to get some more utility out of it. These things are, are, these, are, these items are things we have have um, developed over the years for ourselves. And because uh, you're your own boss and your own packer and your own leader, look it over. If it's an idea you like, cool. If it's an idea you don't like, also cool. Or if you can, what's even better is if you take the ideas like we're doing and look at your setup and say, you know, I think I could do better than I'm doing. And you make it your own system. So there we are. Thank you very much again, folks, for coming to visit with us. Sue, did I miss anything? No, looks pretty good. Okay. Thank you, folks, for coming again. Um, and remember, is ride as often as you can, which is really important. But more important is, ride as safely as you can. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day.